What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today I'm gonna make a few arrow presses. And the reason why is Kepa Concetto sent me about four metal filters to try out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare them to the tried and true paper filter, which we're looking at right now. So the paper filter gives you the cleanest cup in my experience. I actually really like a super, super clean pour over, super clean arrow press. So when I make an arrow press, I actually use two of these paper filters but it's not really the most sustainable or great way to go. So I think I'm gonna try out these metal ones and see how they fare. So I'm gonna compare these two metal filters, the super fine and the fine, to just the standard old paper filter. And if you're curious, let's just take a quick look at the Cafe Concetto filters. So they sent me four filters in total, two fine and two super fine. This uh, cool looking blue slash green slash purple uh, filter is their new rainbow version which apparently no two are alike and they have a cool coating on them or a cool design I'm not sure if any car people out there they remember like neochrome was a popular thing for a while for exhaust tips That's kind of what it reminds me of but they definitely are very cool in terms of aesthetics These cafe concetto filters have paper filters beat hands down and pretty much every other Metal filter disc that I've seen so far. I just really like the look but in the end, let's see how they actually brew. We already know they look great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make three separate arrow presses. First one with the paper filter, second with the fine, and third with the super fine. I'm gonna taste each one and I'm gonna tell you which makes the cleanest cup, which makes the most enjoyable cup, and talk about some of the differences between all of these separate filters. So even though paper is gonna be the cleanest, I think that in the long run, for sustainability and just for overall ease of use. I think having a reusable filter is a great idea. These are relatively new on the market, so I definitely applaud Kefik and Seto for diving into this market. Coffee people are picky people, and you know we like our coffee the way we like it. It's kind of hard to please everyone, and that's just you know one of those things that we all understand. But I think it's important to dive into metal filters and to get the opinions of people who like a clean cup, especially with something like a immersion brew, like an AeroPress, uh, and try and get as clean as possible or get something that matches the paper as closely as possible. So in an effort to make sure that I take out any of the variables, I made the same AeroPress three different times, just different filters. So we're gonna see how they taste separately and I'll talk about that once they're all done brewing. So let's break these down one by one. We're gonna look at all three of these filters. First up is the paper filter. So like I anticipated, the paper filter is the cleanest by a pretty far margin. So I prefer a clean cup because this brings through all those unique flavors that you know sometimes get muddled when you're using something that doesn't have a paper filter. That paper filter blocks things from coming through oils, grounds that can really muddle up the experience, but that gain in clarity also means a loss in body. Next up is the Cafe Concetto Fine Filter. So what I compare this filter to in terms of the overall taste experience, the body, and the notes is it's closer to what I would say a French press to where a lot of those oils, a lot of those residues came through. I could even see residue on the bottom of my cup when I was done. So it definitely has, I don't wanna use the term dirtier experience, but definitely things come through that filter just a little too intensely for my personal taste for aero presses or just drip coffee in general. Last but not least, we have the super fine. So I was very impressed with this filter overall. I feel like it splits the difference very nicely between the fine and the paper filter. I've got a lot of those clarity notes still coming through. I've got some nice body, a little bit of that uh, heaviness that you would get from the fine filter, let's say, um, harkening back to you know a French press. But you get a lot of those clarity, nice acidity. Overall, it's a nice piece. You can tell that you know some time and effort went into this. Nice build quality, there's no sharp edges. There's nothing on there that would make me think that it's not a really nice solid piece. So it's worth picking up, trying out. They're only about $10 a piece, which, you know, will save you tons of money in the long run if you're an AeroPress aficionado. I would say this is as close as you can get right now on the market to a paper filter. And I think 
in the end, who doesn't want to be sustainable and have something from a company that cares? Let me know down below if you've tried them before or if you have any other filters that are worth giving a shot. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new around here. Hit that little bell button for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Sprometheus, the blog at Sprometheus.com. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.